Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another unit for you guys and I am so mad at myself that I did not do the stocking cap method with this unit you guys. I did not know it was going to be this bomb and I messed up my parting area if you guys seen that in the beginning. But this unit is from RPG Show. She's a wavy unit and her name is Selena001 and she is the natural hair color. She is 13 inches long and this is a silky texture unit. Um, she's 200 density so she's nice and full um, and I got her in the cap construction B in the size 1. So this is what their units look like. As you guys can see it is so much party space okay like it's almost a full lace unit you guys and this is how all of RPG so units are um, so this unit is pre plucked and it's not pre bleached but their knots are super super fine so if you're scared to do that you could totally just use a foundation or that um, Sally Hansen leg spray and uh, you will be to totally fine sorry oh yeah so this is what the unit is looking like on before I do anything to it I'm gonna go ahead and do this part so I can show you guys like if you're one of them girls that love that long middle part or like a long swoop part then this unit is for you like so much parting space so I went ahead and I washed the unit I bleached the knots and I plucked it a little bit more just to get it to my liking again you guys know that is not necessary with RPG show wigs because you have seen that hairline in the beginning so I'm just showing you guys what the unit looks like soaking wet and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this BioTerra leave-in and just spray this all over the unit and because this is a um, wavy unit like and it's a silky texture you don't need that much for it to hold its curl so I'm just going to use a little bit of this leave-in or a lot of this leave-in and then I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture um, coconut and hibiscus line their curl mousse <laughs> Once I have both products in, I'm just going to use my dimming brush to rake um, everything through and I kind of use it as a curler, like a curling iron. So when I comb the hair through, I just twist it a bit and it creates like these nice big loopy curls. like to scrunch up the bottom with a little bit more of the mousse just so that um just to help the curls form or the waves form going for the no baby hair look with this unit so i just take a little bit of this lot of body foam and i'm just going to go ahead and put it along the hairline smooth it in with the toothbrush and then tie it down for about five or ten minutes so I should have let it air dry because the curls would have came out really cute but I got like antsy and I decided to diffuse it and I messed up my perfectly good curls that I had made so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this little tiny wand and just randomly grab a few random pieces of hair and just curl certain sections and then I just kind of raked it out with my hand I ended up cutting a few pieces in the front just so that it will fall a little bit better uh, with my face and then I'm going to go ahead and speed through the part of me putting the unit on. If you guys want a detailed video of how I apply my units, I'll go ahead and leave some helpful videos down below for you guys.
So I went ahead and tied the unit down for a couple of minutes just to make sure it was completely set in. And y'all, this was at like 12 o'clock at night. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know. So my eyelash is hanging on for dear life. So please excuse that eyelash. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the sides a bit just to create a few like of the little sideburn shorter pieces. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation powder. This one is from Sephora in the color Golden Almond. It's the one I always use. And just kind of go over the parting area and the hairline area just a bit. Because this hairline looks so, so good. I didn't have to add too much of the powder to the hairline, just mainly to the part. And I'm so mad. I told you guys in the beginning, like, I didn't do the stocking cap method because my wig cap slid back further than it usually does or that I usually like it. I think I've actually pushed it back too far, and you can kind of see it, like... Oh my gosh, I thought I was so cute for like three days, you guys, until I sat down to edit this video and I'm looking at this part like I can't believe I did that to myself, but the hairline looked so bomb. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.